What's going on everyone, Elite Chris here, and today we are back in Farming Simulator 22 for another Farming Simulator 22 Beginners Tutorial, and today I have another nice beginner tutorial for you, and that is today we are going to be showing you how to use fertilizer spreaders, how to fill them up, um, how to see what field needs fertilized, and uh, yeah, all that good stuff. Pretty simple. Um, I'll show you both fertilizers, obviously. So we'll go ahead and go into our shop again. We'll head over to the tools section, and you're going to find your fertilizer spreaders uh, down here. Right here is the sprayer, which is a fertilizer sprayer for liquid fertilizer. And then you have a fertilizer spreader for dry fertilizer. There's four in this category. And then there is a uh, five in this category. And then if you come to the vehicles, there's also some uh, self-propelled sprayers, which are right here under crop protection. But yeah, we'll start off with just picking up a sprayer. We'll just get the uh, simple sprayer that everyone will be using pretty much at the start. And there's always lease. And I will pick up the front as well just to show you guys that. Nope, I do not need to lease it twice. And we'll go back to the tools again. And go to this fertilizer spreaders. And we'll pick up the small breedle. There are some settings on this. You can put the extensions on here. And then you can add the uh, six meter spreading unit, which increases the width of the spreader up to 18 meters. By default, it's only 12. We'll just leave it on 12 because uh, it's just for example, so it doesn't really matter. Normally I go at the start, I go right for this six meter spreading unit is definitely worth worth the uh, extra 8,000. And then I usually just put the big on there because it's only another 1300 at that point. You gotta make sure your tractor has a front point attacher on it. I do believe most tractors in the game that are small have the front point attacher. Through Let's go ahead and drive around over to this thing. There's that. And then just back up to this. Look up to this. So now that we're in the liquid fertilizer uh, spreader here, we just go into the store. And the liquid is under pallets. Right here is the liquid fertilizer, and right here is the herbicide. Comes in 2,000 liters each, so we'll just go ahead and buy one. Unfortunately, you can only buy one of these at a time, by the way. So we can go ahead and switch to the front tool. I'll bring up my help menu so you can see. Um, this is the additional tank, and this is the back tank. You can see on the top above the help menu, you can see the highlighting thing changing. So we'll go ahead and fill up the back first. And as you can see, the partial width on the bottom, that's where you can change your width for the liquid fertilizer. We'll go ahead and fill this up. And there's gonna be uh, some left because it won't even hold 2,000 liters in it. So that's when you'll go ahead and switch to your front. And you'll just fill up the rest in the front of your sprayer. That is how you fill up the uh, liquid one. Now I'll show you how to fill up the uh, dry fertilizer. It's gonna be exactly the same, except for uh, you got a few more options here. You can do the bag of solid. There's a big bag pallet of solid fertilizer. And then there is an actual pallet of solid fertilizer. I tend to go with the big bags. They're usually cheaper. So we'll just pick up a bag of solid and you can buy it in bulk amounts, which is very nice. And again, we'll drive over to it and just fill it up with the refill button. And if you buy the one that has the cover on it, make sure you open the cover before you start filling or else it won't, uh, it won't fill. It should open up automatically, but if it doesn't, that's uh, how you fix that. All right, so here's where you look for the uh, fertilizer. Um, you come into your map, it's gonna start you here. You just go over until you get to this category. By default, all this will be on. I just click these to shut them all off. And then uh, you can see which fields you can look while these are on too, but it's easier if you just shut them off. And as you can see, uh, 45 and 46, which we own, do not have any fertilizer on them. So we'll go ahead and head down there and see if they need fertilizer. They may be grown already. That one's growing. This is a brand new field. As you can see right there, it says owned by you, fertilized 0%, weed 0%. Um, the weeds grow usually after the first growth stage of a crop, you'll get weeds popping up in your field. Um, and then same thing with this. These are growing um, zero fertilized, zero weed. And then over there is the field we kind of worked on in the last video. But yeah, I'll go ahead and bring a fertilizer spreader down here and uh, show you what it what it does. All right, now that we're down at our field, I will show you the uh, liquid fertilizer first. Uh, all you got to do is unfold the back. 
as you can see I have the partial widths already set up for me you have to set that up it's not set up by default like I said with the keybinds but it's pretty simple all you got to do is uh, basically line your booms up with the edge of the field that way you're not wasting any of the fertilizer go ahead and you can see some of the crops rolling over which is always cool to see um, and you go ahead and just turn it on and you can see you get a nice dark uh, pattern on the field wherever you spray it at and you'll go ahead and go all the way down to the end of the field so I'll show you the variable width once I get to the end here go ahead and shut it off you don't want to be wasting that fertilizer so we'll line this up and I'll show you what I mean by with the variable width why this is pretty cool So in past farm sims, normally you would turn this on and you'd be spraying all this extra off the side of the field here on the left. You can see that's just kind of a waste. So what we do is we go into our hotkeys here and I have them set up. So the left decrease is my bracket sign and the left increase is the minus sign. I know that's kind of backwards. That's just the way I have it set up. And you can see I can shut it off all the way. So it's only spraying on that side. I can enable it so it's spraying there, it's spraying there, spraying there, and spraying there. So I can easily turn it down to where it's just hitting the ones, and then same thing with the right side. I can turn them down if I don't want to spray that, but obviously I want to spray all that. So that kind of saves uh, how much spray you're actually spraying on your field, which is uh, actually really nice. And the hotkeys I have set are pretty, uh, pretty close together, so it makes it pretty easy to easily just do it on the fly based on how much I'm spraying and I can shut it off and just turn everything back up so again just for anyone curious what keys I use in case you want to use the same ones I use the minus and left bracket or minus is to increase it left bracket to turn it down just because they're on one on the top of each other and then for the right side I use the plus sign to increase it and the right bracket to decrease it pretty simple stuff um, and then now I'll show you the the uh, dry fertilizer spreader here, which is exactly the same. And I will show you something else too, just while we're here, while I'm thinking about it, that I didn't think of at the beginning. This crop is already grown, so if you see if we drive into here, we're gonna start killing our crop wherever we drive. There is an easy way to avoid that, which I will show you right now um, you can go back to the store or you can pop open your uh, build menu which is shift P on PC on console you'll have to go into the pause menu and then go down to construction or the uh, store menu not the pause menu and come over to the production no we're buildings tools and right here you have a vehicle workshop which I always place on my farm because uh, it's nice to have a vehicle workshop so once you're in the uh, customizing menu here, I'm not in the customizing menu, I'm in the just buy another one menu. But it's, it would come up with the same thing when you open customize. So you'll go into your wheel setup and change your wheels to narrow tires, which yes, they are actually narrower. So you would go ahead and do that. Um, and then you would hit confirm, but I'm gonna have to lease it because it's another one. <clears throat> and then you go into your uh, dry fertilizer spreader here and it would be the exact same you can edit your wheel setup to narrow tires and then i don't believe uh this one you wouldn't need anything because it's it doesn't have wheels so you could just leave that as it is this one i believe has narrow tires by default maybe no there's narrow tires right there so this one you can do narrow tires i don't know if this one will do narrow tires though Yep, this one does narrow tires too now on uh, FS19 and Witten. So that's cool. So all these do narrow tires now. So basically put narrow tires on any of these three if you're using them. And then this one you can just use, obviously. And then your, uh, your self-propelled ones, they have narrow tires by default. And just a good thing to remember um, when you're doing your crops fertilizing, you have to fertilize them twice during their growth or you can fertilize once before you plant. And then once at the first growth stage, so I like this one is a cultivated field and we fertilize it, it's at 50%. Now if we were to go to this field, it's pretty much on its last growth stage so we wouldn't be able to get another growth stage in because once they're ready to harvest, as you can see growth, once it says uh, harvested or ready to harvest, you won't be able to fertilize them anymore. 
for example, uh, here, once you uh, want to switch from, say, your lime spread and you want to switch to fertilizer in this and you still have lime left in it, a monster bump there, all you have to do is open up your help menu um, and you can see right there, third one down, unload, which is I on PC. You press that and it will drop your fertilizer there or your lime and then you can drive over to your other one and then refill it. So we're going to do that for this one because we're going to use this one to spread. I'll show you that it doesn't damage the crops with these narrow tires on. And this one works a little different. You got to kind of eyeball it a little better. You'll get the hang of it the more you use it. But it doesn't spread very wide. Well, it spreads wide, but not as wide as uh, the liquid ones did. But then you just kind of have to eyeball where you're at, too. You can't, it doesn't really give you any uh, visual cues of how far it spreads out. You'll just have to like look at the fertilizer and see for yourself. There's no boom that comes down. But you can also look on your map if you want to double check. As you can see, we fertilize this field all but like two little areas there in the middle. And then, uh, yeah, as you can see right here, we kind of hit this perfect. And we just got a little patch on the end there. And you cannot do the variable spreading on the dry fertilizer either, like I said before. So wherever it spreads is where it spreads. Unfortunately, when you get to the edge areas like this and you don't have a perfectly uh, field that fits this width perfect, you're going to have a little uh, extra spillage on the side. You're just fertilizing your grass for free. But yeah, there you can see. You can see the row crop tires, the narrow tires, don't destroy the crops like the, the normal ones do. So that's a good thing to remember. You'd never want to destroy your crops with tires. You can shut that setting off if you want to, though, and then you can just drive anything. I like playing with it on. It adds a little more realism to the game. Um, and then lastly, I'll just come over and show you this backfield that is at 50% fertilized and show you that we can get it to 100%. So not us, but somebody fertilized this when they either planted it with a spreader or a uh, planter that can fertilize and plant, or the, they came through and fertilized it after it grew. So uh, it's on the first growth stage. It's 50% fertilized, as you can see, so we can easily come in. And you can tell on the menu, the darker fertilizer is the second coat of fertilizer, and this lighter one is the first. So you can see 49 is the light, so when we go over it here with a fertilizer spreader, you can i did not buy this field i thought i did i didn't all right so we'll buy it i don't know i don't want to buy that one i want to buy this one there we go now we can do it there we go as you can see the field's darkening so we are fertilizing it if you use the fertilizer spreader and it's not darkening it that means it had been fertilizing that growth stage so you have to wait till the next growth stage to fertilize it so if you're running into that issue a good way I like to test to see if it's actually doing it, if you can't tell by that, you can one, just go into the menu, you can see it's getting darker where we did it at. And then there's another option as well. I just quickly hire a worker, and if the field can be fertilized, the worker will start. If it can't, the worker won't go, and it'll just cancel the job. So if you hire a worker and you see him going, then you know it can be fertilized. That's just another little tip there for uh, fertilizing. Self-propelled, they work the exact same way as the, the uh, sprayer here. They're just a self-propelled one. You don't need a tractor to actually use one. But yeah, it's got a lot bigger uh, boom on it, so it can go pretty far. You don't need these for these them small fields you start with. But once you get into your bigger fields and you got plenty of money to blow, um, these things are pretty awesome to use, and they have the variable width on them as well. But yeah, guys, that is it for the uh, video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, check out my channel for more beginner tutorials on Farm Sim, and also some more advanced tutorials coming soon. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, uh, any questions, leave them in the comments. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And um, I will see you in the next one. Now we're here to take control over your body and over your soul. We're gonna take back.